Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the next episode of City Skylines here in our city of New Zealand. And boy, have I got some plans for you today. We are going to be building a prison island. Yes, remember that little island that's out in the sea? We are going to be building a prison on that. We're going to be expanding our population. I really want to get to 30k today so we can unlock a new square, which would be fantastic. And I also want to build something inside the ferry about and we have some cool names that you've all been suggesting suggesting managed to say that word the second time round. so let's dive in and get stuck into our cool plans for today let's have some light there we go now we can see what we're doing so let's just zoom out a little bit and here is the island that we're talking about all the way over here this island I've been really thinking what to do with it and the suggestion of having some sort of like Alcatraz type thing on here I thought was just absolutely brilliant so we'll get to that in a moment before we do that <laughs> I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do that to be honest but before we do that there was a fantastic suggestion of what to do with our what is now going to be called our ferry about now that name was suggested by let me just get my list Fe sorry I said ferry about I meant ferry go round by Red McKenzie. That was the best suggestion. Ferry go round. I love it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in here zoop, a little zone like that. And we are going to call that ferry go round. If I can spell ferry correctly, even more impressive. There we go. The ferry go round. There we go. And I've just removed all the policies off that because we don't need it in this little zone. And then the other suggestion was to put a little island in the middle here, which I think is a fantastic idea. So I'm going to grab my landscaping tool that we have. And I'm hoping I can put this on and use that at the same time. Yeah, we can. But let's just make this a little bit, uh, make that a little smaller. Yeah, that'll probably... I don't want to make it too big. There we go. That'll be good. And if we put this back on... Excellent. Now we can see what we're doing. So I'm gonna, uh, oh, I'm gonna left click just to take that up a bit. Then I'm gonna grab this tool here, right click right in the middle, and then we're gonna level that terrain out and try and get a little island in here. How does that look? Oh, look at that. That looks perfect. I think I want that to go a little bit higher. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. I just want to make sure that all the ships can still get past okay. Oh, grief, yeah, with all that tsunami of water going on. Yeah, that looks okay. They're getting by all right. Excellent. And then on the top here, it was suggested perhaps a little lighthouse. But you know what? I think we need to get this up to more of a point to get a lighthouse on there. One second. Yeah, there we go. A little bit more pointy. I'm liking the look of that. And then we just need a lighthouse to go on top. And I know that there's one here along the coast. I'm just wondering whether, with the use of the Move It mods, I could steal this thing. Hmm, I'll tell you. Okay, let's just do marquee selection, double click on props. Well, that is weird. It's grabbing all the stuff around there. How about decal? No buildings ah turns out i have a ploppable abandoned lighthouse already in my list and it's exactly the same thing oh excellent and it's a little bit bigger than i thought uh we need to remove this sort of boy thing that's up here can i get rid of that uh no do you know what i'm gonna move it let's move it with that no let's just get everything on there we go and i'm gonna put that down in the sea and then i'm gonna copy that and i'm gonna put one there one there and one there all the way around the island oh look at that it's all oh this is quite big actually oh look at that we've got a nice straight edge along there i'll pop that on there like that and I think if I use the move it mod, we can sink that into the rocks just a little bit. Yep, there we go. And then we just need to sort of feather this bit out here a bit. And do you know what? I think that looks pretty good. I'm liking that. I'm liking that. And it's abandoned, so there's no way of getting here unless you have a little rowing boat. I think that looks good. Excellent. So there we go. That's our ferry about. So now I've done some work on one little island i may put some rocks around the bottom of this now i'm looking at it hold on hold on hold on biffa yeah 
yeah, I think that looks a little bit better. Just a little bit more detail. So, yeah, now we've done our ferry about island in the middle here. Let's have a look at that. I like that. Yeah, I think that looks cool. I like it. Okay, now we're going to come over to here. So, my thoughts on the prison. I have got the interactive prison pack by Bad Peanut. So, I will link that in the description below. Or if not, you can just search prison. And it comes right up on the top of the list on the Steam Workshop. And it gives you a few different items. So, we've got the... Let's just put it over here so we can see. We've got like a small prison block. We've got a large prison block. We've, of course, got the normal prison that comes with the game. We then have some prison watchtowers. And then we have this road, which is really cool. Let's just find a flat bit of land. Because this has... There we go. The gate. Uh, the fence, I should say, built into it. And then you've got the prison wire, which you can then attach, I think, to these. Let's grab our recreational facility. There we go. Look, that lines up with the gate, which is fantastic. That's it, look, and then we can just build off of here and it all sets itself up as it should do. Come on, come on. Uh, can we do it this way? Oh, for goodness sake. Come on, you were so close to doing it. Anyway, you get the idea, you get the idea and it all works together and I think you can sort of clip these in and they will butt up to, let's just actually test this out. Let's go a bit further with that. And then let's go up here with that. Yeah, it automatically keeps the fence and then if we do that, yeah, there we go, look clips in with the fence absolutely perfectly up against the road that is very clever i like that excellent yeah so we've got those items there and we've got this one here which of course now won't butt up against the road will it might need to put a normal road in there but i think we can do something with that on here and the plan is is to maybe use a little section at the back here for the prison and then the other side i think this side to have some housing and stuff like that so let me just work out exactly how we're going to do this so i'm thinking whether i can make this without a road so we need a ferry on here for the people to come and go to different places um we would need a industrial port of some sort to get goods in and out or we could make it self-sufficient if we put commercial on here do I want industrial on here as well? Probably not. Yeah, so some sort of port I think would be good. So I'm thinking this little area here could actually work out quite well if we could do something with that. Let's grab our key wall that we've got here and see how this would look. If we just sort of drew this in like this. Sort of that interior key wall that we've got going on. And then if we use the move it mod to get all of this at the same height. So that is definitely going to have to come up. So I do that the same height as that. And then do everything else the same height as this. Let's have a look. So if I do that what node, that node, holding shift, that node, holding shift, that node. Then control H. Yeah, there we go. That is better. And then we can smooth out the water here. So we'll grab our level terrain, add a little bit, add a little bit more. Perfect. And where's the level? I reckon about there. So we bring that in right up to there. Excellent. That will fill up with water. That sort of used a protected sort of area there. Hopefully that's enough room for the ferry and the other thing that we need to get in. Uh, here we go. Maybe just a small... Oh, yes. Plenty of room. Plenty of room. Plenty of room. So we could... A ferry pier, I think, would be too big. It's just a bog-standard ferry here. We need to smooth out some of this land a bit as well, don't we? Unfortunately. So let's grab that height there. And try not to mess up our waterway down here. So I want that height there. Let's just smooth this out. And then I've got to remove some trees as well. Don't worry, I've seen it, I've seen it. So if we go into our tree menu, which is pretty tremendous, you know. Uh, actually, we've got tree brush here, look. And I can just go zoop. Get rid of those, get rid of those. There we go. A little bit of flooding going on. Hmm. Hmm. No, I think we've got it. I think we've got it. So let's get our ferry again. If we put that, say, along the side there, that should be good. We can fit it with the height in a bit. And then a cargo hub. Oh, it's massive. And where's that trying to connect to? Over there. Oh, darn it. Do I have ferry paths? Ship path. So I can 
draw in the ship. Okay, let me just see if I can finagle this to get this all to fit in. Actually, there we go. Look, we've got the cargo harbour. That's actually the one I wanted, not the cargo hub. So let's get our ship path and we can bring that. Uh, if we can turn this on so we can see it. I think that's this one here. Yeah, so we can just bring that round here. Connect that to there and just bring that round there. Yeah, that will work perfectly. So let's get our cargo harbour. Can I put that on the side, this side? Yep, I can. And then we can put this back on this side. Yeah. Got a little port thing going on there. We can work on that. I'm going to use the Move It mod just to drop all of this down a bit so it's level. There we go. Excellent. And then we might just do the same on here. Yeah, let's drop this down a bit as well. So that's level. Actually, if I do that and Control H, set that the same height as that. Yeah, there we go. Everything's the same height. Cool beans. Then we can get our roadway in. Right, okay, that is a good start. So now we need to find a little flat piece of land for our prison. And I'm thinking maybe along here. Yeah, because this is like quite a high ridge that comes over the top. So anything around the back here is going to be hidden. Sound, noise, views of the prisoners, all of that sort of thing. So if we perhaps use this little bit here, it is going to mean flattening this out a tiny touch. And again... We're moving some trees, so let us just do that. See what we've got to work with. That is not too shabby, actually. So if we take maybe that height there and just level that out a little bit. I don't quite know how much space we're going to need. And then our road can sort of curve around here. Let's make that a bit bigger. We can always terraform again if we need less space. That'll all work out okay. So let's grab that road. And then we're going to sort of follow our nose up here. So let's go like that. And then that could literally come straight up there. And we can smooth that out a bit. So we'll grab that node, that node, that node. And that'll be fine. And then we'll use this tool here slope objects there we go excellent and then i'm actually going to just do a new level of land up to that road there we go excellent excellent and then along here i do want to put some sort of toll road to sort of visually give you the feeling of it being a gate uh, as you come in so two-way toll booth i think that's the one i want one way uh, let's just plop it down and have a look yeah that's the one i want so we are going to pop that actually along here. So if I delete, say, that bit there, pop that here. That's actually quite a way back, isn't it? Mm, let's move that down a bit. Okay, there we go. I've moved it right up to the edge here. Right up to the edge so to give us some room. Nice slope coming in there. And then what I'm going to do, if we just grab our prison road, we should be able to just upgrade that. There we go. Excellent. And then we're going to do this along here. I'm just going to anarchy that in. Actually, yeah, let's go up to there. There we go. And then we use the move it mod just to set all this at the same height. There we go. Excellent. So as you come in, you're alongside the fence as well. Very good. Very good. Very good. And this maybe will come a little bit further. And then we'll come up to there. Is that all the same height? Let's use the move it mod again. Shift, shift, shift. Oh, my voice. Then control H. There we go. <laughs> all the same height. Right. So I want the large prison block right opposite here. So that is like one of the first things you see as you pull up. Excellent. And then alongside the side here, we've got our small prison block. Let's turn off Anarchy. Yeah, so that actually, how big is the recreational facility? What I want actually is another road going up here. A little bit further away. There we go. Excellent. That's how I want it. And then off of here, we can have our small prison block, say there. And then our recreational facilities around the back there should be okay. Yeah, and this is like a bit of a, a prison yard type situation going on here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to connect these two up. 
Let's do that. Well, that is completely the wrong sort of road. Well, that's okay. We can do this one and upgrade it. There we go. Just might mean moving this down a little bit. So let's grab that and sort of plop that in the middle there. There we go. I'm liking that. And then what else have we got here? We've got our prison watch towers. So I'm wondering... I think... I feel like I want these in the corner here. So we're going to have one there. Then we're going to have one over here. Yeah, excellent. And then we're going to have one over here to watch the comings and goings of this section. So let's just flatten this out a tiny touch. Make that a lot smaller. We'll grab that height there. And just sort of lift that up. Yeah, that should be okay. It should be able to squeeze that in there. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Might be another way to come in. That is fantastic. And then we've got this prison block over here. I'm just wondering what we could do. Maybe just run the fence. So overall, let's have a look. So criminals in prison, 150. And they will spawn vans as well. Um, this is another 40. But these roads are not connected to anything. Mm, so that might cause an issue with the vans coming and going. We'll have to see how that works. I mean, we are going to have roads around the rest of the cities. So actually... Now I'm thinking about it, we might need to hide a little road somewhere to connect this to the rest of the city because this is not going to bring criminals in by boat. <laughs> That's not how the game works. But if we hide a little underground road somewhere, a little tunnel, I think we should be able to just sort of get around that issue. In fact, I'm going to do that now. We're going to grab this here and we're going to sort of hide it and not talk about it. And it's just going to live underground just to get the game working. So if we grab that, stop trying to upgrade, go like this, get that into there. How's that looking? Yeah, it needs to go. Yeah, that's OK. That will do for now. And then if we go underground. Nope, that's a delete key. Let's do it this way. We'll grab that and we're just going to go. Where's that going to come out? I might do something different with this later, but for now, this is what we're going to do. So it's going to come underwater, then it's going to come up over here, and then connect to there. Yep, there we go. That's it. So that now connects to the outside. So that now will send out some trucks. There we go. Some proper prison trucks heading out to look for the criminals. Look at them. Oh, I'm liking that. Let's just zoom along here. Watch them come through the the toll. <laughs> Look at like, the FBI all in a row. Very cool. Very cool. Okay, we've got that. Zip. zippity doo our back around here. And then I want to add some more fencing along here. This is a bit open. So we've got our interactive prison fence, which is unfortunately snapping to that node there. Well, I don't want it to do that. If I turn that off... Yeah, that should be okay. So can I just come along there? I was hoping those two would snap together, but if they don't, that's no problem. And then that can literally come along the side here. And that can be it, can't it? Actually, if it finishes there, that makes sense, doesn't it? And then this one here, we can sort of connect it up like that. Yeah, there we go. That's good. This bit here certainly needs to have a whole load of concrete on it. So I am going to fill this in. Not quite sure how that's going to go with the roads, but let's do the best we can. There we go, that went okay. So we've got our weights and things here, which is good. Do you know, I'm actually thinking about popping another one of these over here. We've got all of this space. Why don't we do that? Let's pop in a couple of recreational facilities. Yeah, look at that. We've got plenty of room for it. Let's do another one there. And that gives you a bit of parking as well. Yeah, I think that's good. And then I feel like I need another tower down here. Yeah, that should be good. And then these almost sort of double as an administrative building. This one over here. This is like the main prison. I like that. I like that. And we can expand it as we need it. But at the moment, I mean, we've got absolutely tons. We've got 285 space for jail cells, 96 detained criminals. We are doing okay. Right, that is a good start. What we don't have over here is water or anything like that. So let me just run some water pipes and then we're going to need electricity and all of that good stuff as well. Oh, 
Okay, that's got all the pipes set up. I'm just going to pop in here an advanced eco water doohickey thingy. There we go. Would that be too big to put alongside it? Cannot build on water. Can we anarchy that in? Actually, that'll do for now, I think. We can smooth that out. Let's hook that up. We're just getting a bit low on water in this area. There we go. And I'm not entirely sure that pipe's hooked up there. So let's try that again. We'll grab that. I've got no, I've got my nose not connecting. That's what it is. There we go. That should be fine. We'll let that work away. Let's smooth out this land a tiny bit here. Okay, and for power, we could also add some power in here, couldn't we? We've got the geothermal plant. We've got the ocean energy I did want to add that in somewhere. Could we have that working off of this island, off of a road down here? How much power? Oh, that was the one that cost like 6000 a week. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's stick with a geothermal plant, and we can have that off of a road over here. Oh, goodness me. Don't want to spend too much money that we haven't got. So if we just go straight along here like this. Uh, okay, if you can go straight, that would be fantastic. Go on, you can do it. Oh, yes, of course. Let's get our nodes connecting back on again. Aha! There we go. Let's play ball. Okay, so we've got that one in there, and then we can have that going against that. Oh, that's going to butt right up against there. No, we're going to move all that down. Let's get our move it mods. Let's put that on, and we're going to grab that node and just move it all down. A little bit more, and then control H all of that height. Yep, that's good. Excellent. And then we'll smoothly smooth this land out a little bit. Not entirely sure what this guy is doing here. I think uh, she's looking like she's going to escape. Um, okay, I think maybe we need to get some security out here. There's like a tower right there. You can see oh, the devil breaking out. The car's just going to run them over. Not quite sure that's how I want my prison's working. But anywho, I think we'll just look the other way and admire what else we've done down here. Okay, let's come out of that view. Let's come over here. So I've added a few little things over at the front here. There we go. It's just a warehouse. Bit of storage container action going on just to give it a bit more of a dock looking vibe. Um, and then over here, yeah, just another little warehouse next to our water filtration system. So we need to get this hooked up, of course, to the main setup. So let's grab our ferry pathway and that is going to connect over here. So we can just do, I think, round there will be fine over the top. And then let's just try and stick with our better turning that we've been trying to do. If you go to there and then there. No, okay, let's do it this way. All right, I'm going to put anarchy on. I think that'll be perfectly fine. Very good. And then what we can do, if we grab our ferry line, I'm going to drag that one all the way down to there. There we go. So we shall get some ferries coming in there. Excellent. And I'm also thinking what we're going to put in stock in these maybe just commercial goods uh, there's also this one commercial zone goods and we'll put them on empty and then if we do end up doing any industry over here we can always change that can't we let's do this one on empty as well excellent there we go very good Yeah, took a little break from the prison. Decided to add a little bit more detail here on our abandoned lighthouse island thing that we've got going on. And I really like it. Got like a little garden at the front, some chairs that have been forgotten when they moved out. I've added a little path. Looks a lot more realistic, isn't it? A little path coming down here, perhaps where you'd pull up your little boat if you can row in between all of the cargo ships and ferries coming and going. But yeah, I like that. I like that. So back over here. 
to our island. This is working rather nicely over here. I'm loving the way it's looking. So what we need to think now is about adding in a way to get from here over to the rest of the island on some houses. So where are we going to build? I reckon this little section here, if we, let's remove some trees. Let us do some tree removal. And let's grab the tree brush. This section here. Let's have a look. It's got a nice little beach sort of area. We can. I don't want to totally flatten it out. This bit here can have some houses. Um, this bit here can have some houses. And maybe even this bit along the front. But we do need to flatten it out just a tiny bit. So let's see what we can come up with. There we go. I don't think that should be too bad. I'll take out a few more trees there. So I'm hopefully just leaving enough room. Um, I want to go for a bike. Oh, yeah. It's on here now, isn't it? Bike. There we go. I want to go for a two-lane road with bicycles. And I want to leave as much room around the road as possible for adding in houses and things like that. So the idea here was to sort of bring that through here. Okay, we have the start of the road network on this side of our island. But back over here again, just had a little thought. There is a way to get goods without shipping them in. So we may not even have to use this cargo harbour. I don't know. We might leave it there for now. But I'm just going to delete this road from along here. And I'm going to add in just a small fishing harbour. Could we fit in one of the larger ones? Oh, that's quite big. Let's just go for the small fishing harbour. I'm going to pop that there. And then I'll redraw this road here so it connects up. There we go. Nice and straight. Excellent. Um, yeah, that is quite close to that there. You can see the arrows where the boats come in for our cargo harbour. Even though we might not be needing this later. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. is I'm going to just draw this out a little bit further. I'm going to use the move it mod to get that to the same height as that. Oh, and this one here. Control H, select the one. There we go. And I might just move this down. Oh, hang on. Still got to move it mod on. Let's select that and move. Do I still need the land? Or is that automatically going to pop that in for me? It is. Yeah, there we go. Excellent. So with that a little bit further out, that, I wonder if this could fit over here next to it, actually. Ooh, that might just be pushing it a bit too far. I don't think that's too bad. I don't think that's too bad. And then we can just tidy this area up here. Do you know what? I've moved it over here and I think that looks a little bit better on that side. It leaves this bit open. And then all we need down here as well... Oh, we need to set up the fishing, don't we? Let's just get that going out here. So we're going to be getting lots of anchovy, which is fantastic. So let's draw this out. And I know there's a definite distance you can go to get 100%, but I don't think we're going to be too worried about getting that exactly right. <laughs> I want to at least get 100% anyway, but we'll see how we go. I just want to make sure it doesn't get in the way of all the other ships that are coming and going. We'll see how that goes. And then we just need down here, we've got a choice, a fish market, which will sell direct to customers, or, and this is the one, the fish factory, which will turn those fish into goods that will go to our commercial zones aha uh -huh. and we might be able to just squeeze that in on the back here if we just put in a little bit more land 
Yep, and when it stops flooding, I think that will be perfectly fine. There we go, and this is going to be taking in the fish and turning them into commercial zone goods. So I might just make use of all of this storage over here and set this to commercial zone goods balanced. And didn't we do that with these ones as well? We put them to empty, but I'm going to put those to balanced as well just to keep... Oh, we've got some stock in here already. But just to keep those as a nice stock, which can then be sent out to uh, any industry that we have and we could also sell them direct we'll see how we go we'll see how many we end up with okay so let's take a look at the rest of the area here and of course we're going to need a name for this island highland district was just the name that it uh, randomly generated but bearing in mind what we've got here prison the harbor all the stuff going on the fishing and we're going to have some self-sufficient housing over here so we're going to use this one then let me know uh, your chosen name in the description below we're going to have organic and local produce and also there's a little something something that's been added to the city which i'm not sure whether anybody has spotted yet i'm not going to say anything about it if you've been watching my videos for a while or you know me well you might have spotted this thing in the city if you've spotted what uh, you think i am talking about let me know in the comments below if you have absolutely no clue at all then, uh, yeah, well, <laughs> we shall see what happens. So I'm going to put some of these. In. I'm just going to put a few shops sort of there. I mean, we're really not going to need that many shops. And maybe just some there as well. And then the rest of this is literally going to be... Oh, uh, uh, not that one. This one is literally going to be all of that. It's not too many housing. I might squeeze a few more on. But let's just see what we get growing in here. And as these people are growing, I've completely forgotten to put in any services at all. These people are not going to want to live out here if they don't have their biohazard up. <laughs> yeah, no, we're not putting that in. Um, so let's just pop in a few little things and hope we can sort of cover. That's a good spot for that. Gives coverage over the whole thing. I do like these little firehouses. Maybe this one. Let's go for this small fire station. Um, that can go there. And a police station. Just our little basic three um i know police station coverage goes a little bit further let's pop that against the mountain there and then of course we're going to need a school elementary school oh man these things all of these services take up so much space don't they and a high school right opposite and then the other thing i'm going to do is put a bus in um let us grab our buses and i just want a but what is that there oh it's the prison one uh, i just want our bus to come all the way here from the harbour. And I want it to stop outside the... Oh, hang on a sec. Oh, yeah, this is connected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That can come all the way from there, all the way into this area. So, I mean, one stop... Actually, let's come up here first, outside the schools. Then it can come back on the way back and stop there. And then literally come back to here. That That is going to be it. Nothing more than that and that is bus line nine how many buses are we going to get on there three million five now let's put that down to three let's change the line color and then we'll name it uh, once we know what this area is going to be and that should definitely encourage some more people in yeah i feel like i just need to move some of these things around a bit okay let's see who grows into this area Well, it hasn't taken long, is it? Look at that. Barely of the houses come out of the ground and they're catching fire. Absolutely fantastic. I like this little community here. Hidden behind the mountains. And even though there is a fire station over here somewhere. Where did I put it? I can't remember. Over here somewhere. <laughs> it's taken the helicopters all the way from the island to come over. Oh, man. Some of these have already gone out of business. What's your problem? Let's put these on. Whoa, that's your problem. Oh, I accidentally had my notification icons turned off. Whoops. Okay, let us just run a power cable over the top of the mountain like that. 
Yikes. Uh, the water should be hooked up. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, man. And I'm just wondering whether we could put a cable car up and over the mountain. Would an area like this shell out for a cable car? Do you know what? I don't think so. I think they would just drive through the mountain pass that we've got here with the tree in the middle of the road. And I think that would work perfectly fine. Okay, hopefully everyone's going to move back in and be happy now. And while they're all moving in and being happy, what we could also quickly do is just pop a couple of parks in. That's something else that's really going to help our area here. Could we put something special over here? Like a nice Japanese garden. What's the area of effect? That could pretty much cover almost everything. I'll tell you what. I'm going to pop that at the end over here. So that's going to cover that much. Then we need something over here to cover this area. Um, a little dog park has got a pretty big area of effect. So I'm going to slide that in by the mountain there. And that should increase the land value of all of this once that kicks in. Yeah, there we go. Well, let's see how that goes for now. And people are moving in, which is fantastic. What are we up to? 26,500. I'm not sure we're going to hit 30,000 with this. Although I am sort of looking around thinking, like, we've got this space over here. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to remove some of these trees so we can get a good lie of the land. Uh, not under there, we're not. We're going to do it with the forest brush. And I'm going to... Let's have a look. Let's have a look. If I put this one on, we'll get the terrain. So I'm thinking... Let's go a bit smaller on that. Along here. And sort of around to here and down here. Maybe we could fit some in. We could have a little winding... Yeah! Let's see what we can do here. Let's flatten this out a bit as well. I'm going to take... Maybe that level. So I've right-clicked. Now if I left-click... There we go. So we're going to get a level of houses here. I just want enough space so I can put a road through there and get enough space for houses either side. And then this road's going to sort of wind up here. So if we use that, that's not how we do it. If we right click there and then go down. There we go. So we can run a road up there to the top. And then I think even if it sort of comes around here a bit like that, we can have a promont promontory? Promontory? I'm looking for a word that's something to do with that. Like that. And then we could even have... Actually, let's go with that. Let's go with that and see how that works. Okay, so while this thing is filling up, I've just got like a floating cafe and a little whatever this one's called over here, which looks really nice. There we go. I'm just thinking of adding a little park over the top. We've got like the top of this here, which I think is crying out for a nature reserve. So why don't we put something like that on the top here? So let's grab our park area. And I think we'll just sort of fill in a big chunk of the middle here. And go sort of down here as well. So loads of people have got access to it. We're going to come over here. That's the end of the road there. We'll go there. And then... Not sure you're going to get access from this side. But certainly from this side. And then let's have a look. What options do we have? Nature Reserve. Oh, it's all unlocked. Fantastic. So, Nature Reserve Main Gate. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, we've got that other Nature, nature Reserve, haven't we? Uh, main gate. I just want a small. That's the small one. In fact, I'm just thinking, could I fit a large gate in, like, over here somewhere? If we just sort of finagle this a little bit. Let's move that round here. Uh, let's grab our rural road. That one there. And just sort of go straight out like that. And then we can add our main gates there. 
There we go. And everybody's pleased. We could just use the move it mod. Just to get this all the right height. Yeah, that's okay. I feel like I want to... I feel there's, there's a lot of land here that I need to sort of go through and smooth things out. But for now, we'll go with what we've got. And then this path here... Actually, where else are we going to get a gate? We want a gate there. I want a gate over here somewhere. So what is this building here? That is just a house. So can we squeeze... Let's bring that out a bit and then set that at the same height as... Oh, that's a bit too low. Can I squeeze a teeny tiny gate in here as well? Uh, side gate. Slope too steep. Nope, we need to do a bit of land finagling. Gosh, size a bit smaller. Oh, the houses are gone. Oh, I'm sorry. There we go. So we've got an entrance there, an entrance here. And then I want another entrance over here there would be perfect so let's get our park area whoop and then we need a name for this whatever the island's called we'll end up naming the park area similar as well right let me run a path around here and see what we get Well, I'm really pleased how that build turned out. I think it looks really cool. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And don't forget to let me know your name suggestions for our new island too. Uh, if you did enjoy this video, consider subscribing. Leave a like and maybe check out the next video on the screen. Have a fantastic day and I will see you all for the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.